All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. It is Wonder Kid revival time, and today is my personal favourite, a Wonder Kid back from 1997. That's right, it's Ibrahim Abakayoko. A lot of you guessed it in the last video. If you haven't checked out the last video based on the main man, Freddy, do go check that out. I'll leave a little card up there now. Um, but today is my Wonder Kid, so my first game was playing 97, Champman 97, 98. This guy, Ibrahima. Bakayoko was at Montpellier at the time, 20 years old, turns into an absolute worldie in that. What I want you to do is let me know down in the comments, what can you remember, which was your first version of the game? All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's see how this man does. We want a Ballon d'Or winner, and the way it's been set up in the editor with his attributes compared to what it was in 97, 98, this guy may have a chance. All right, boys, so here is Ibrahim Abakayoko, 20 years old. I'll just put up a little screenshot now of him back in Champman's 97, 98. A player actually did okay. He got a big move from Montpellier in the end. He didn't He didn't do a Freddie Udo where nothing really happened. He actually kicked on. He went to Everton, um, had a bit of a terrible spell there early last year, and then went to Marseille, did pretty well at Marseille, scoring a few goals, but never reached the standards that you would expect a guy with these sort of attributes to get. He kind of then bobbled around, I think. He went to Italy and also Greece, um, but never really turned into the superstar that we expected in the game when he was 20 years old. So here he is, wonder kid. I'm giving him a few player traits, moving to channels, shoot with power, likes to try and beat the offside trap and want a really aggressive sort of like advance forward. Work rate as well, 13. He may have an opportunity to be a bit of a presser, but I'm thinking complete forward, advanced forward is going to be his bag. He was an attacking midfielder, it said in, F in, in Championship Manager 97, 98. So I've put him as that, preferably maybe playing as a shadow striker as well. But I think up front, number nine, and he is starting at Montpellier, which once again, I think is a nice little starting point for him. Opportunity to play lots of games early on in a team that are probably what mid-table, bottom half in, in Liga. So, opportunity for really him to kick on. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to move uh, three times. We're going to move to 2025 when he's 25 years old, then to 2030 when he's 30 years old, and then 2035 when he's 35 years old, coming towards, you would imagine, the end of his career. Let's see. I don't know. I've literally just holidayed these dates, saved them, and then not looked to see how he's done. Let's see if he moves on. Freddie Adu did okay. We never got that Ballon d'Or, did we? Do you think Do you think he could be a Ballon d'Or winner? All right, guys, let's see how he is doing in 2025. Okay, boys, we've kicked on to the 1st of July. First question, is he at Montpellier? I'm going to say no, because by this time now he's 25. We did maybe expect Freddie Adu because he started so young, but uh, we're starting with Bakayoko as a 20-year-old. So you imagine 25, he's probably kicked on somewhere. <laughs> he has done. He's moved himself to the Premier League. He is at Manchester City. He has, as already, he's on £325,000 per week and he scored 56 international goals for Ivory Coast in 62 games. He, whoa, he has moved big. He only lasted one season at Montpellier, but scored 19 goals. 19 goals with then Bayern Munich picking him up for 63 million pounds. Had decent seasons 14 14, a very good third season, 22 goals in 31 appearances. And then has started and then has just done one full season with Manchester City after his 100 million pound move. 12 goals in 23 appearances, 18 in all competitions. Playing in a very, very strong Manchester City side who've still got Pep Guardiola in, in charge. They've also got Erling Haaland. So there is two strikers. Is how much is that going to affect his playing time? Shit, they've just spent £125 million on Haaland. And with Pep playing sort of like one up, it'll be interesting to see how this now stutters Bakayoko's development. How has he done award winning wise? Won Champions League. Um, Bundesliga, obviously, you'd expect Bundesliga, Bundesliga. Bundesliga and a Champions League. Any awards? Two Bundesligas, two African Cup of Nations, a Champions League and a couple of Cups. Bakayoko has been recognised with his uh, most promising player, African Football of the Year, third place on three occasions. Bakayoko hasn't won the African Player of the Year yet, but you would have thought maybe over the next few years he would. A little bit worried though. Haaland's introduction at, at, at Manchester City may see him stall a little bit. 
Um, shortlisted for the FIFA Best Player, Golden Shoe run up, German League goal scorer. So he's not won anything major yet. Right, we're coming into the prime of his life. Attributes, mentals have improved. Finishing 18, first touch 16, dribbling all them. Physicals are on the improve as well. He's now coming into the prime of his career. Just at a point where Haaland is probably going to step on his toes. I imagine he's he's not going to be at Manchester City. He'll want more game time when Haaland, you would have thought, would be number one choice after paying £125 million for him. We're coming to the end of June 2030. We've just had a World Cup, or we're in a World Cup by the looks of it. Um, let's see where Bakayoko is. He's now at the age of 30, so he's, as a centre-forward, he's kind of at his, at his peak now. Right, he's still at Manchester City, which is a little bit of a surprise. I didn't see him still at City. He's not featuring as much as what he should. So the last, what, he'd done one season there. So since then, he's supposed he's played 30 league games, 23 league games. He's a little bit, he's had a decent season there. 24 go, 20 goals in 34 appearances. Only five in, only five in 25, only 20 starts in the Premier League. And then 14 goals, he's had 30 Premier League starts there. So a little bit better. A little bit better. They've still got Pep. They've now got João Felix up there as well. So the competition for places is strong, to say the least. Have they still got Haaland? Haaland's gone by the looks of it. But then they have brought in Felix. Erling Haaland has been shipped out to Juventus for half, less than half than what they paid. Didn't have a great spell, did he? Didn't have a great spell. So Bakayoko surprisingly has has done well there and has stopped and has stopped Ireland taking over his number one. Improved again. His physicals are looking really good. Mentals are looking absolutely tremendous. New player trait as well runs down the left. So dangerous coming off that left hand side. Thirty years old. Anything. I imagine he's picked up a couple of trophies in those last five years. Yeah. Community FIFA World, no, nope, no, nope. Champions League runner up, FA Cup runner up, Premier League champion, African Cup of Nations again, African Cup of Nations runner up, African Cup of Nations runner up, Champions League winner, Premier League winner, African Footballer of the Year, yay, he's managed to win one, he's just the one, Musa Barrow has turned in an abs into an absolute beast, the Gambian, doing very, very well at Atletico Madrid. Obviously, if he's only won one, one of those, he's not going to pick up a Ballon d'Or, is he? Mbappe, Camavinga, Phil Foden. Phil Foden's at Barcelona. We're struggling with Philly Foden. He, Phil, Phil Foden and Mbappe are getting in the way of my wonder kids and their revivals. We want a Ballon d'Or, don't we? So I don't think we're going to now move on to 2035. Let's see where he ends up. I imagine... I imagine he... I'd be surprised if he's still at City at the age of 35. I think he's Ballon d'Or. I think the opportunity for him to win a Ballon d'Or is very, very unlikely. But let's just see, before we finish, let's see how he's finished his career. All right, so we're in 3rd of July, 2025. Where is he? <laughs> Similar to last week's episode, Freddie Adu moved across later on his career to go to Atletico Madrid. Is there another club involved? No. He spent two seasons, two seasons at Atletico Madrid, £25 million, 14 goals. He's on his way. He's on his decline. He's physical, he's pace. He's lost so much pace. 10 pace, still tremendous attributes in terms of technicals and mentals. His pace has gone. He's on 121 goals for Ivory Coast in 130 appearances. That's pretty good. He's, planned, he's retired from international football. Veteran striker. He had a really good season for Manchester City in, what, 2031? So it would have been just to, like touching 30, 31. 18 goals, 200 league goals throughout his career. Any awards? African Football of the Year, it looks like he's won again. So he's won after his four-time African Football of the Year, well done. We've got a new man, new man on the block, Wada. He's not too shabby, is he? He's not too shabby. But no Ballon d'Or. Let's see where the Ballon d'Or has been going over the last five years. It looks like we've got Paul Wilson, who is a German. A German who's now at Chelsea. Mario Hermans, look at that. Look at the state of that for a wing, for a wigger. Oh, God. Club Bruges. Sheesh. That's probably one of the best players I've ever seen. 59, 59 goals in 71 appearances. I can maybe understand why he's won it for the last few 
years. So there it is, my friends, Bakayoko. I ex honestly, I expected a little bit more at the age of 20 with the technicals and mentals and physicals attributes that he already in place. I was expecting, you know, he scored 200 league goals. He's not even average one in two. Um, 429 appearances, league appearances, 200 goals. I think the, man, the move to Manchester City hasn't hasn't helped. He'd only hit 20 league goals once in his, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years at Atletico Madrid. So, uh, sorry, at Manchester City. So, has not kicked on as much as we want. Now, next week, as I've put at the start, it is Cherno Samba. Uh, really interested to see where he goes. Obviously, starts at Millwall. Haven't done his attributes yet. I need to find the database that he was sort of like at his high level. Hoping that this guy turns into an absolute beast. Maybe the opportunity as well to not only... We've had international success with Bakayoko, with Ivory Coast. Um, but maybe now with Cherno Sambo being English, can he progress into the England squad and have international success with England like he was destined to do? Will he get his move to Liverpool? If you remember, Cherno Samba was so close to signing for Liverpool at £2 million when I think he was about 16, 17, and it all went downhill when that move fell through. So it'll be interesting to see where he ends up. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Smash a like on today's video for me. If you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do that for me now. Much appreciated. As said at the start, let me know which was your first edition of Championship Manager or even Football Manager if you're a little bit younger than me. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you later.